let us discuss this example so in this example we have a function f which is defined in this way if y is not equal to 0 it has some definition and if y is equal to 0 its value is 0 we have to find gradient of f that means del f at a point 0 0 okay so let us find it already i have mentioned here del f definition you know del f at 0 0 is equal to f is a function of two variables so i suppose to take its partial derivative with respect to x and with respect to y at 0 0 i will tell you one important thing that means if the function is defined with two or three different definitions with some conditions then it is better to use definition of partial derivative to find its partial derivatives okay here also i am going to do the same so let us focus on first partial derivative uh, derivative of f with respect to x so consider consider derivative of f with respect to x at 0 0 so you know the definition limit h tends to 0 f of 0 plus h comma 0 minus f of 0 0 divided by h so derivative with respect to first component that's why supposed to add h in first component only okay so this is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of h comma 0 minus f of 0 0 divided by h so this is equal to limit h tends to 0 see f of h comma 0 here value of x is h value of y is 0 this definition says if value of y is 0 the value of function is 0 and if y is not equal to 0 then only it has some possibly non-zero value okay so see here x is y is 0 so that's why i follow the second definition it says its value is 0 here also y is 0 0 divided by h so it's 0 minus 0 0 and upon any non-zero number definitely we will have 0 so the partial derivative of f with respect to x at 0 0 is 0 we have got let us find partial derivative with respect to y now now i will find deba f by deba y at 0 0 so limit k tends to 0 we are finding partial derivative with respect to y with respect to second component so that's why i will add k in second component only so f of 0 0 plus k minus f of 0 0 divided by k so limit k tends to 0 f of 0 comma 0 plus k k minus f of 0 0 divided by k so this is equal to limit k tends to 0 see here value of x is 0 value of y is k so this time y is non-zero that means i suppose to use the first definition to find its value so let us put those values here so y x is equal to 0 i am putting y is equal to k so 0 into k square divided by x is 0 plus k raised to 4 minus f of 0 0 here the second component that means y is 0 so y is 0 so the second definition says its value is 0 divided by k so this is equal to limit k tends to 0 so 0 into anything 0 you know 0 minus 0 divided by k so its value is also 0 so yeah we have some space let us use so therefore del f of 0 0 already we have written okay both values we have calculated now the value of first component we have got 0 and value of second component also we have got 0 so it is 0 0 so that means del f of 0 0 is 0 0 so uh, let us discuss one more example make a screenshot of it let us discuss this second example so in second example we have a function f which is a function of two variables only x and y and we have to find its gradient they have not mentioned a point that means simply we have to find del f okay let us do that so function i have already written first of all we will find partial derivative of f with respect to x and then with respect to y so consider consider deba f by deba x so i am going to find its derivative with respect to x minus sign is there we can take separate separate derivatives when we take derivative with respect to x y is a constant so here 6 y cube is constant derivative of x is 1 minus say 1 so after that we have to find derivative but see there are two functions of x x and sine 
x y so i cannot find de uh, derivative directly since th there is a product of two functions of x so this is equal to 6 y cube minus 7 here there is a multiplication uh, of functions of x so i need to use u into v formula first into derivative of second plus second into derivative of first let us do x into derivative of sine is cos x y but see it is not simply cos x it's cos x y so that means again we supposed to find derivative of that bracket x y getting we call it as a chain rule hmm? so yeah we are using for u into v formula first into derivative of second after that plus second sin x y sin x y into derivative of x which is 1 okay let us continue so this is equal to 6 y cube minus 7 x cos x y into see here we have to find derivative of x y with respect to x y the constant will come outside will come outside and derivative of x is 1 only so i will not write anything y into 1 y plus sin x y so yeah if you write properly it will be 6 y cube minus 7 x uh, this y also cos x y getting minus 7 sin x y so this is partial derivative of f with respect to x so now we will go to find partial derivative with respect to y let us use this space to find partial derivative with respect to y now deva f by deva y so we are finding its derivative with respect to y minus sign is there again separate separate derivatives 6x is constant derivative of y cube is 3y square minus 7x is constant 7x is constant simply we have to take derivative of sin x y since y is involved here so derivative of sin you know it is cos cos x y but again derivative of x y getting again derivative of x y again derivative of that bracket we call it as a chain rule this is equal to 18 x y square minus 7 x cos x y see what will happen here x will come outside since it is a constant we are taking derivative with respect to y x will come outside and derivative of y is 1 so x into 1 x so this is equal to 18 x y square minus 7 x square cos x y so therefore therefore we can write gradient that means del f is equal to you know the formula deva f by deva x comma deva f by deva y so both values we have already calculated let us put those values there so this is equal to deva f by deva x the entire value we have to put 6 y cube minus 7 x y cos x y okay cos x y minus 7 sin x y okay comma comma this 18 x y square minus 7 x square cos x y so this is required answer make a screenshot of it after that we will stop